Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And I've got a bit of a confession, guys. This game is becoming a little bit of an obsession for me. And I really want to keep playing it. So what's going to probably happen in the next few weeks is the release schedule is going to probably get a little bit erratic. I'll still stick to three parts a week. But what I won't be doing is throwing in the occasional extra part because I just can't wait to play it. So <laughs> apologies for that, guys, if things get a bit erratic. But that's the way the situation seems to be at the moment. Now, moving on, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update here. You can see the top right, my money's really coming in very quickly now. That's due to getting that extra train shipping out fuel. That has really made a big difference to my income. And also, things seem to be settling down a little bit here. If I just show you, my population seems to be improving a little bit. People are a lot more happier. My, I'm getting a nice supply of coal in here. And more importantly, I'm not having to worry too much about this export link. I'm not really turning it on very well. Even up here, which has been a bit of a problem child, seems to be settling down. People seem to be a little bit more happier. Over here and even in this area. And of course, the main area down here, which is becoming my way of generating wealth, is going quite well. I think moving to having individual prefabs driving specific industries here has worked very well. Over here, this is building in quite nicely as well. In the sense we got these operating here. I just want to check my construction sites. Oh, you've got no jobs. Okay. We need to find you a job to do. Actually, I think I've got a specific job for you to do. Because what I want to do in this part is lay out where my radio station is going to be. It's probably going to be about here. And what I want to do is maybe put in here... My main concern here is that these people don't have access to a kindergarten. So what we're going to do is put a, I'd love to get it in there, but according to, oh, yeah, I think we can drop that in there. And then what we can do is give these guys the job of connecting that road up. Maybe we'll get the school directly opposite. Whoops, come on that. And we can put the school in here. So if we put the school this way around and get it as close in, I don't know, maybe we'll leave a little bit of space for a footpath. And what I'm thinking is to. The radio station needs 300 employees, so we're going to have to put some blocks across here. But well, don't really want. I mean, we could have. I'm very tempted to put in another block, or that would be for the education purposes. In fact, I'm going to put. And again, I want these as far north as possible because they need to stay in range, although they could go to the hospital up. Uh, although if they want to go to the hospital, they could all, or the cinema, they could always get get the bus to there and then walk back that way, which is, may seem a bit irrational, but no, that's too big. 143 workers. So that would be 150, that would be 143. And we could put a... A bigger block here. These would be the people that are going to work in the radio station. And what I'm going to do is a road across like that. And, and then what we'll do is we'll drop the radio. Wow, that's big. If we can get that, get a bit of a level here, and then what we we'll do is level this back a bit, like this, maybe a little bit that way. Actually, there's footpaths there. Okay. The radio station there. That means this road's going to be split. Yeah. What we're going to do 
do is add that road and that road in straight away. So this is going to be our radio station because I really want to try out this. I've never built a radio station before so far. Down here, things are still progressing forward. And then what I've done is I've activated one oil rig and at the moment I'm using a tanker to export the oil while we're building this infrastructure here. Now, one quick tip, guys, for building rat track. If I can get all the way back here, you can see my track laying trucks here. What I've done is I now have two operating. And what I've found is to keep these guys from colliding into each other, what you want to do is once you've got a, a section of track like this that's well completed, what you want to do is signal it up and then the area where you're going to go for the construction, what you want to do is put a crossover here. But don't put chain signals here, just put ordinary signals. So that what happens is the construction trains can come out here, use each side of the track that they want to use to build this and then come backwards. And I've done exactly the same here. I've got a, a crossover here because one one we've got is one track, one working it their way this way. You can see here they've got a job of doing here. I've put a crossover there. Yeah, so eventually what's going to happen is one train is going to build the way back to here. And so I can connect up this so I can supply my main construction drive going out that way while the other one works their way down this way. We've got a long way to go. What I will suggest is if you have the trains working in a common area, when you allocate jobs, allocate them on different sides of the track so that they come down through here, through this, where it is, where is it? Oh, here. And what, it, what they will do is they will cross over onto the section of track that they intend to work on. If you don't do that, what will happen is you will end up with both of them on the same track. But it's far better to keep them separate. So we're okay from there. This is building up quite nicely. This is now gone there because we're going to need to do these roads here and also get this built. So we'll get the kindergarten in an upper operating and just make sure these guys have all got been allocated jobs. You're doing the cinema and the football ground. And I'm very tempted to get in another block here. In fact, what I could do, I'm looking at this, guys, is I'm going to put a full length path right through the back like that. And again, I'm just going to allocate that to these guys. A nice long full length path like that. Should be quite re easy for them to build and very useful to build as well actually so you can see we've got the, the trucks working here laying that out and of course once we've got the road built we'll do the road connection to the radio station because it's going to take a long time to get that built now the other thing i want to do is why don't you have a power supply you should be in range. No. Actually, does this actually need a power supply? Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. I would have thought that would. No. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is just give a bit of a for the spirit of experimentation. Rubles. I'm going to get a couple of dumpers. Get you to pick up from there and come down to here and your job is going to be to pick up gravel and then get them down here and wait until loaded unloaded and get you and then what we're going to do is ah, let me just get rid of that I'm going to copy you onto that and then and we'll see if this aggregate storage here will work without power and you can see here also I'm bringing down the prefab slabs and steel down here so that we can well once this is built we'll get another construction train coming out here and they can contribute to this process here now what I would like to do is extend this area here because eventually I want the 
track to come over here to where Steel Town will be. The other thing I'm also thinking is that, just to show you guys, if I come here, we've got a plastics factory and a what's the chemical factory. So we've got a chemical plant which needs uh, oil and gravel and wood and crops. So I'm kind of thinking maybe having a chemical production oil uh, area in here and what we could do is put a farm over here or something or maybe actually we could put could we put it over here actually just have a thought guys we're just gonna so this is oil over here just check just to make sure yes we've got an oil field here which is just over this other side of this mountain coming in here what I really would like to do is have uh, some kind of construction going over here so why maybe what we could do is maybe have the the chemical stuff here we could put an oil train up and we could get an oil area here and then maybe could we get a farm we're about to get some gravel up here what else does the chemical factory have require so it requires wood oil gravel and crops so we could have a dedicated farm over here producing crops we've got plenty of trees yeah i think i should quite like that idea now comes the fun bit guys because we got to okay this is something i've yet to do in this game uh, what's it a railway tunnel, what a bridge. Can we put a bridge over here. And we're gonna go for a double bridge here. And can we get the trains? Oh no, nope. back to normal track. We can't. And I think for the moment we'll just run a couple of tracks up into here like that. And then what I would like to do is jump in here. I'm just gonna. Oh, no. I'm just gonna. Oh, come on. I think this bridge is too low, isn't it? Let's put. Try redoing that railway bridge. See if we will start up a bit higher. Like that. Yeah, we just have to come up like that. Is that hopefully that's connected that side? And then what we will do is a big sweeping connection in like this. And then that can in here. And of course, this is not. Uh, I mean, I can always rebuild these bridges later on if necessary. And then that will give us a connection over here. At the very least, if this doesn't work, we've got a connection to bring oil in from that other oil field. And, I mean, another option would be to build it here. And it would be a little bit cramped. I mean, we could have fields down here. Okay, change of plans guys. This will be the link to go to the oil field, which will then maybe bring a train round here. And what we will do is have a, maybe this, have the chemical production here with a town next to it. We can have gravel up in these hills, maybe on this side, and then we can bring a road over there. We can get a farm out here. Yeah, I think that might work as well. So, I mean, what I'm doing is putting these links in ahead of time so I can build them because one thing I do know is that mixing train construction with normal train traffic is a real pain in the neck so I think what we're going to do is put a, a couple of tracks like that and they're going to come in too sharp you 
come in like that and then nope you can then up up to that track and you can that's because that's breaking on the curve here what you're gonna have to do is come down you're gonna have to, have to do this in two sections so that will now give me another connection here so I can bring oil in from here and export on this line here I'm, I'm building quite a big colossal <laughs> train network here guys apologies but that seems to be the way we've also got coal down here so I could actually put a power station down here as well drive this whole area here let's have a quick check with the constructions make sure they're all busily occupied i mean i've got the cash i could buy stuff if i wanted to it looks like this one's finished oh. so yeah construction stop they work as all me mechanisms yeah the real big problem is getting people over here to actually do the work let's just have a quick look see yeah so these guys are laying in this road here. Oh, it looks like the dumper trucks are doing their job, even though this has got no power to it, so which is good. We do really need to finish off this area here. Just an eye on. Them. I mean, I don't really want to overload these guys too much. So you're constructing roads and a footpath. You could actually do with maybe if, if we assign some extra assistance to this because you've got some heavy equipment here like this crane which is wasted at the moment because we're building roads and you're building a rail construction office and flats so you've got kits to do roads okay and so i think what we can do is there any roads here you guys don't need any assistance is there any more roads that need building in? I mean, I did have a little bit of a push to get roads built up. I think what we could do is... And I would like to bring a road out this way as well. So maybe if we... Oops, thank you, save game. Maybe... One's too big, okay. I think this area drops off way too much. I think we might be able to get across here. No, nope. okay. let's just put the wireframe on. Yeah, we got a big depression here. So if I put this well, lift this area up. No, the big embankment there. Great. Well, we could bring that road off there now this isn't being built yet so what we could do is just take this out a moment and then what I could do is level this off a little bit a bit bigger and just lift this bit up as well I mean, what we can do is lift this through here oops no and so we're just gonna uh, rowling back in like that then uh, that's too close to a road crossing thank you yep. sometimes it gets a bit temperamental so if I complete that and then and that can and then we can do is stick this road around like this and 
just flatten this error out a little bit just just so that to make sure that if we're going to bring more develop this area up we need this so make this just do it again here yeah. just stick this out like that because we're going to build a farm or something over here where we need to make sure that we got some form of road access Okay. And what we'll do is just bring this road down like that, and then I think we'll just bring this down like that. And then that means we can build a farm in here. Just take off the wireframe, and that will ensure that I can build a farm in here, and then we can supply the crops up to here or across to here for the chemical factory well that's the theory anyway guys so we've now got a road for these guys to work on so actually no not these guys these guys in it so we can allocate that road there the um a bit inclined to but uh a link road through here. Actually, I think what we'll do is we'll double allocate the road onto that one as well. So the, this big long footpath's being built, but it takes time. But at the same time, it, it's useful. And this, hopefully, this will get built fairly soon. And then once this has been built, you don't have any workers, you need asphalt. Just make sure that there's somebody working in my asphalt plant and the cement plant and the prefabs. Really do with bringing some bricks down, but I don't think we actually need bricks in constructing the trains. Make sure, yeah. How come you've got three unfinished lengths? Um, no workers. Okay. Where are my trains? If I can't see them, I get a bit suspicious because th that means they might manage to get themselves blocked. Oh no, you're off somewhere. Yeah, you're just coming down there. So yeah, it definitely pays guys to keep an eye on these trains because if anyone gets blocked, it's these construction trains. So we've got just over half a million to go. Let's just get down here. I'm, I'm a bit inclined just to give these guys a shove. Though there, there's actually someone working here at the moment, so about you. Destruction stops. Now I think we're gonna give that one a bit of a shove, guys. Sorry about being a bit impatient, but it's not like I don't have the cash. And this isn't the most efficient of so you're working on an unfinished pipeline. Which pipeline is that? So you're building this pipeline. And maybe we will sign you this short pipeline here as well, just to keep it going. And actually if you've got any You've got some road trucks as well, so although that's a long way over. I think what I might do is we've got two roads here. I think what we're going to do is we've got road here because we may need to extend the road down here. So maybe it's time to if I put a gravel road through there. That. then what we can do is what we're looking for is to upgrade this road through here if we upgrade that road and then assign you for that road and what we could do is upgrade some of these so that 
what we can do then is bring a road into here and let me just have a quick check there's no coal over here there's coal down here is the wrong direction anything down in here nothing well wow, this is a bit sparse it's bound to be gravel here so maybe if we zoom in we can find a gravel deposit. Maybe we could get some gravel to processing over here. And what we could do then is take a road out here. Now if we can get some gravel processing here. And a small settlement here to drive it. We can then use the gravel supply to drive the construction over here. Let's just zoom in. We're looking for a really good gravel location. Hmm. I think this area is a bit sparse on everything by the look of it. Okay. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Come on, there's got to be gravel here somewhere. And again, I suppose the further round this is better it is. Oh there's a nice big logic gravel up there. So Ruby where's one bit of gravel this other bits. And we got gravel on this shoulder here. And that could work quite well because we could put a gravel processing plant right up on this corner or, or down into this area here. That would work. And then again Sorry, sorry about I'm um, flashing around, guys, but I know I saw a big coal mine here. Yeah, got coal here. So, and we got coal here, and that's actually quite a good place, actually, for a coal mine. So that's right down, almost on the flat. Let me just zoom in here. Well, this could be really good. That's wow, this could be a really good location for a coal mine. If you could drop the coal mine in there, that's not getting a bit closer. I mean, that's right on the edge of the. Mm -hmm. So, like. Oh, got no free excavator. I mean, that would be a great location for a coal mine, and which could feed a power station because we could get a small village here. And of course, that means we would be able to get a fire station in. So we could get, I mean, is there any other resources here? Um, no. Okay, gravel. Yeah, I mean, there's some good gravel deposits here. Okay, maybe that's going to be the way forward, guys. We're going to... Yep. Yeah, road. And... and this is going to be a nice green area here. And I think we're going to pull you right through to there. And... Let me turn around a bit. If we head for there, this will be the arrow that points straight to the uh, coal mine. And then that would be the road that will connect everything up to here. And we can get another power station in here, which will then drive this area here. And we could connect it up to the grid here so they can back up and split net. Yeah, so I, I like that idea, guys. So back to here. How are we doing? Got no workers. They're waiting for asphalt. Are you delivering? You're delivering prefabs. I'm just a bit worried about why I'm, we're not getting the asphalt. We seem to be working. Let's just check the. We've got loads of uh, gravel. And I suppose this area here is now full up. I think what I've done is in my enthusiasm, I've reflected these guys away from what they're meant to be doing. Never mind. I mean that's the way it goes. 
let me just check the job list here the rail construction office is nearly finished these flats are nearly finished Where, where's these flats yeah these are the flats which are going to drive my workforce in here you see the old oil refineries got a big workforce in here which is really driving these trains really fast but at the same time they're not uh, doing as much work as but we're not making as much profit because until we really get a good supply of oil flowing in yeah. let's have a look yeah. because the problem is that the asphalt plant is just too far away from everything i mean i could and we've got an oil area here. Could I move this down? Yeah, but the problem then is getting the gravel in. Maybe I should have made this into a large area. I think it's a question of patience, guys, to be honest. So, oh, unable to bear food. I mean, we've got a bit of a sport issue here. I mean, we've got, got no staff in this sport one okay what playground this this is playground eight so i've not allocated this to anyone okay you're too probably too far away to be allocated to it yeah i think what we're going to do is this is the the prefab that's generating my workers for my construction. That's why it's seventy three percent. I think what we'll probably do is push that back to about fifty percent. So there's more people coming down to here. I think what we will do is add eight to that. So. Mm. I mean, these should be. Well, these aren't staffed either. I think. Your playground seven. Your six. Your seven. Your five. Oh, of course, this is newly built. So. Yeah, playground seven. And we can add six to that one here. Because your job is to keep the fire station going. I think we can spare you a a few people to keep the playground going as well. So that should work okay. Football ground, hospital. Eventually you'll be built up. And as I say, I don't really need very high levels of staff in here. But what we will do is staff them from these buildings eventually. Once that's actually working. So where's the asphalt trucks? I think the mistake I made here, guys, is that this guy's waiting for asphalt and this guy's on the wrong section. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build that road and then that will release that asphalt truck to do things. It's the same as this one's waiting. This is one of the downsides of asphalt. But these trucks sit here waiting for someone to work it then they're not delivering to one so you can end up with this situation where these are waiting for asphalt with trucks that can't deliver it okay. and let's just fly back this way wow i'm really i i really hope that they they do put a mini map into the game because well this is going okay although it's going the wrong way oops so close that road off and we'll build this road out here I think it'd be good to have this road separate from the oil field here and how's this pipeline coming it's nearly there we've got one one guy quite happily working on it last chance to buy what's the last chance to buy okay not really that interested 
And here's my solitary oil tanker going down here to collect fuel from this uh, pumping station here. Right, I think what we're going to do, guys, time's pushing on. And what I want to do is. Yeah. So, wow. This is all one job. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Actually, let's just check my train construction guys. That they are pretty efficient in their own way. So, yeah, we're down to two now. Where's this one? Yeah, so they've nearly connected up back there. And I, I guess the other job is down here. Not assigned, so he's probably working on this section here. Yeah, he's nearly there with this section. And the other thing you also notice is that as as these lines connect up, the power comes on as well. So, so these these lines should be powered. And once we got that, I mean, technically I could put another train on, but. I've got nowhere for that train to go at the moment. What I will probably do is take out this crossover here. And then once these guys get past this section here, I'll move the crossover down to here. In fact, what I could do is put the crossover in about here. Let me just do this as well while I remember it. We're going to put a, a crossover in here. Oh, oh. I'm just going to put that crossover there and what I'm going to do is just complete that and where's the train construction right he's now finished that section there so where's that those crossovers I'm just going to get those crossovers built and then once they're built, I will then move the, the signal like this down to here. And then we we'll have to put a some signals here, control access to there. So that's looking good. This is looking good. Things are building up quite nicely. We've got lots of people here. Everyone happy to see if the population is growing yeah we're up to 2699 and so generally things are going okay guys not yet actually I'm gonna be a bit cheeky here guys what we're gonna do is change the allocations for here uh, and get you to come over here and get steel from here and prefab panels from here and I think we're going to steal the gravel from here as well and I think that's about all we can do here for the moment I don't and what that would mean is that the trucks from here won't have so far to go they won't have to go all the way up here for gravel and so you know, these guys are going to have to share what gravel they've got which will make Probably make things a bit more efficient. I mean, I could build multiples, but I, to be honest, I can't really see the point for doing that. To be honest, because at the end of the day, if I wanted to buy something, I could buy boards in here. I mean, I could bring some boards down here, but do I really need that? Whoops! I think it, wow, ha. my tr trees are getting uh, chopped down. So time to reseed. Just gonna. Reseed the plantation again. And maybe just come around here a bit. So that, keep that going. How's this here? Yeah, this has got 110 in here. And these are working quite well. Thanks. Now, if I put flats there, they'll be too far away. I've actually got flats here. I mean, oh, can you reach anything? Oh, can you wrap up? Anything you can't reach is the cinema. 
But for firstly, you could catch a, a bus from here. I think there's a. I think you've got a, a tiny little. Wait. Okay, I thought there was a. Why won't why can't I see you? Where are you? Yep. So you're actually you know where you're coming from. Okay, you're it's associated with that. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna come here. Ah this is we're up Oh we got some spare kit in here. What's all this spare kit doing in here? Wow. Got, got lots of spare kit in here. Okay. Didn't know that. I think it's when I knock the construction site down here, I move the kit into here and then for, probably forgot about it. There's actually a delivery truck for steel there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a bus. I don't want a big bus. I want to say a mini bus or something with 98 passengers, 62 passengers, 45 passengers. Actually, I think, I think a minibus will do. And what we're going to do is we're going to run you from there to there. And your job is going to be to that up. And actually, yeah, let's just cancel you. And then your job is going to be to pick up the boards here and bring them down to here. Oops. So we can just get a, a few boards coming down to this area. Yep. We want to put those guys to use. I mean, you need see what kit you've got you could probably do with another bulldozer so let's just come up into here so let's pick you up and I'll move you to here And you've got plenty of cover trucks. Any anything else over here that I can use push into service? Oops, I lost in the map again. And then you've got I think you got here. This move you and I think we can move you over here and you can join this construction crew because so we're going to need you to ship more stuff in and I think just for the moment see I think what happened is some of these covered um some of these open trucks I, I pulled down to here to avoid the blockages here because we've got more than enough people picking up planks let me just check this area here you've got road rollers two buses two excavators and let's have a look at you you've got one excavator one paver and a crane and only one bus but you've got a cement mixer and you have a cement mixer good look and yeah, you've got a cement mixer as well I think what I'm going to need to do is specialise these over time. Anyway, anyway, just to finish this part off, let's have a quick look at our income. We may we may only making sixty seven thousand, but I'm spending money, and this month we're already forty four thousand ahead, and I've spent thirty one thousand just to show you. But at the moment, most of our income is coming from clothes, bitumen, and actually, I actually haven't exported any fuel yet the 12th of June so why aren't we exporting any fuel let's go back to last month so we got we made 83,000 in fuel 106,000 in clothes 
and 82,000 in bitumen and our, our imports our biggest imports are steel and oil so if we can get the oil field online that will start to make a very big difference so this is where i'm gonna leave it guys hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming